Hello citizens, today I would like to talk about whether now is a good time to start playing Star Citizen or come back to playing it if you're taking a break. As always, if you like the video, sacrifice a like to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more. We are now in the final push to 1k, so go hit that subscribe button. So before we get to answering the question, I think we should talk about what awaits Star Citizen in the next year. Obviously, we don't know everything yet, but there's some important stuff planned already, and I think we're going to get a lot of important updates during CitizenCon. So let's start with the obvious, and I think this is the main reason why a lot of longtime players are going to come back. The 315 patch comes with a complete player data wipe, meaning all of us start over with only the ships and gear we bought for real money. This is good because it's going to give all of us a reason to play and grind towards things again. Also, I think it's going to solve some long-term persistence and inventory issues we're having right now. Speaking of inventory, another major feature of 315 is going to be the new inventory system that completely replaces the old one. The launch will probably have some issues, but moving forward it should be an overall improvement of the inventory experience. I think it also ties into iCache, so we should have less issues with patch to patch persistence. Now let's move on to the less certain stuff that I'm sure we will hear about at CitizenCon this weekend. So I know you've already heard this one a couple times, but server meshing is close. Multiple in-game systems are being adapted for it right now, some like trading and air traffic control already have been adapted for it. The new inventory system is also built with server meshing in mind. All of this tells me that the actual server meshing tech is very close to completion and I think we're going to see it in 2022. Now this probably won't mean that everything will become one server, but I think we're going to see an increased player cap at least. And there has been talk of the pyro system being ready, so we might see that as well. And on top of that, CAG has a new studio working exclusively on building out new systems. And as we know, CIG has spent a lot of time creating their world building tools to the point where a small team of designers can create large amounts of content relatively quickly. So I think that once they get that pipeline going, we will be seeing a lot of new systems being added very quickly. So is now a good time to either start playing or come back to playing Star Citizen? Yes. The main reason is that 315 is going to put everyone in the same starting position. What this means is that there will be a lot more people playing and grinding to get back their gear and ships, which creates more interactions and more player driven content. Also if you're a new player trying to learn a gameplay loop, there's a very good chance someone will be around doing just that and that they will be willing to show you. And the second reason is that I think Star Citizen will see a lot of growth in the next year where a lot of features and complexity will be added to an already complex system. Getting in early allows you to gradually experience and adapt to these changes. And CIG also listens to feedback from backers, so you also have a chance to help make the game better, which I think is pretty important. And finally, CIG is changing their development model to allow features and updates to be made more quickly. This should mean that we are going to get more features with every patch and that more bugs will get fixed. With that being said, that's it for tonight. What do you think? Why did you start playing Star Citizen? Are you excited for CitizenCon? Let me know in the comments. Fly safe and I will see you in the verse.